everyone, Oliver here. I work as developer relations at NIM. Welcome to NIM 101, where we talk about all things important in NIM. In this video, we're going to discuss the privacy problems within Telegram. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate hearing from our community, so leave us a comment too. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Telegram is one of the most used chat apps in Web3 and in the world, but it's far from private. In this video, we'll cover some of the main privacy issues of Telegram and how to privacy enhance your apps with NIM Connect. One of the main three issues with Telegram in regards to privacy is the lack of end-to-end -end encryption. Telegram does encrypt your messages as it travels between the device and the Telegram server. However, these messages sit on the server so you can access them from multiple devices. A breach of the Telegram servers could possibly result in your messages being exposed. The service offers end-to-end -end encryption in its secret chats, but you have to start these manually. If you forget to start one, or someone else begins a non-secret chat with you, the users will not benefit from the same privacy protection. The other issue with Telegram's privacy is that it collects contact details. By default, Telegram collects basic data about the contacts on your phone. The company says it does this to notify you whenever someone you know signs up for Telegram and to show their name in the service. When someone you know joins Telegram, you'll see the name you have saved for the contact, not their Telegram username. Whilst Telegram only stores the first name, last name and the phone number of your contacts, this is still a bit concerning for an app that focuses on privacy. Also, getting a notification every time a friend joins the app is a pain, especially if you have most other notifications turned off. Lastly, Telegram exposes the IP and metadata of their users and does not have network level privacy. As Telegram does not use end-to-end -end encryption, but only the transport level encryption, it means that Telegram creators can see all users' messages at any time, understand the users' behavior patterns such as the time of the message, the byte size of the messages, and other metadata. This breaches Telegram users' privacy privileges by storing all users' data and messages on their servers. They also expose these details to authorised parties for investigative purposes. The good news is that you can privacy enhance your applications with NIM Connect. In another video on NIM Connect, we showed you how you can use SOX5 proxy settings to better privacy enhance end-to-end -end communication. Check it out in the link in the description. Using NIM Connect means you can easily route Telegram messages via the NIM Mixnet. In fact, pretty much any app that supports SOX5 can be privacy enhanced. This protects your IP address, patterns of communication, and metadata. So if you have an app you would like to privacy enhance via the NIM Mixnet, do comment and suggest below. And that's the end of our video on the privacy problems of Telegram. Make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming videos so there will be more deep dives, guides and talks about privacy. If you have any questions or just want to drop us a hello in our community, check out our socials for constant updates on NIM with our hashtag privacy loves company. Also, if you want to read up more on today's topic, check out our blog posts or documentation. I'll leave a link for those too. Take care everyone, I'll catch you next time.